Remember when you were a kid and your parents told you not to play with your food? Well, guess what, dude? They didn't have the fucking grind set mindset. They just weren't entrepreneurial enough. They had no idea that you were onto something big. They didn't know the context of where the fucking world was headed. Especially in the first world, they didn't understand that we would have so much food and so much fucking free time in such an incessant need for attention that ultimately, the food industry would be equally about how strange of an experience it could be, how strange it's prepared, and how overly and unnecessarily cheesy it can be. I feel bad for some of these servers you know like they're just they're trying to make some tips they're trying to get home they're trying to have the least amount of contact possible with the customers while still offering you know hopefully a good experience and now they have to stand at the side of your table they had to learn how to fucking juggle and use a, a goddamn flamethrower restaurants are wild out there today and that's why we're checking out 10 weirdest restaurants that actually exist. I'm pretty sure I speak for everyone when I say, I love food. Food is great. We need to eat food in order to stay alive. <laughs> All right, when you're just trying to meet the word count on an essay in high school, food is good and I like food. We need food when we eat because that's what eating is, is it's food and we need it to live. While that's true, sometimes the experience of eating can be more than just about nutrients. It can be fun. Although, is there such a thing as too much fun when it comes to food experience? Hmm, that's a really good question. Number 10, Fish Cafe. Coffee with a side of koi, anyone. In Vietnam's Ho Chi Minh City, there's a fish cafe. And I don't mean a cafe where you eat fish. Cafe Ikan is a three-floor coffee shop. The first floor looks pretty normal, but the second and third floors are flooded with ankle-deep water and filled with swimming fish. One of the floors is dedicated to smaller fish, and the other is teeming with carp. Have you ever wanted to eat in quite possibly the slipperiest conditions you've ever been in? This looks like it was a mistake. Looks like they had a flood, and then they're like, fuck it, dude. Way easier than pumping all this liquid out. Let's just throw some fish in there and say it's avant-garde. So you can take your pick as to which you might like to have your coffee with. Guests take their shoes off and walk barefoot in the water as they take their seats, with fish very likely to nip at their toes. <laughs> you think anybody's ever come in here with just, like, flippers on and, like, spear fishing gear? <laughs> A fucking this is a scuba setup i'm just curious if you walked in in a wetsuit do they immediately turn you around based on presumed shenanigans like if i show up with floaties on each of my arms right in swim trunks are they giving me a seat these are the questions Cafe owner Nguyen Duc Hoa spoke out about his brainchild, saying, I wanted to create a unique concept that did not exist in any other place. I Maybe it's a unique concept for a reason. Sometimes when you stumble on an idea and you're like, wow, how has this never been done? It's because it's a bad, it's a bad idea. So. Number nine, modern toilet. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> you go to hell. <laughs> what could be more delicious than a poop themed restaurant? Uh, there's a restaurant in Taipei called Modern Toilet where everything is toilet bowl and poop themed. From the food to the decor. This is fucking wretched. I don't want to go to a restaurant where it takes like a certain part of my brain to sort of disassociate connections that are being made very much intentionally 
Guests even sit on toilets instead of chairs. I mean, how quickly, right, did a customer legitimately take a shit in one of these toilets, right? You got to ask yourself these types of things. It's going to happen. And it's going to be difficult to get upset at them. What with the theme, right? Poop enthusiasts. <laughs> The food is styled to look like piles of poop, and guests can order dishes such as the turd sub sandwich. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being bad, 10 being great, uh, how good of an idea is this for a first date? Imagine you're on your first date, and you're like, ah, this is so wacky that we're here, and you look up, and your date is clearly straining and buckling down you know like you're laughing <laughs> and then you look up and you just see your date like <laughs> did you just take a shit were we not supposed to is it is this date over did i blow it like piles of poop and guests can order dishes such as the turd sub sandwich a constipation black stool snow cone or a urine clots mango snow shaving if that doesn't wet your appetite <laughs> you can see the regret on their face is so fucking visceral that is uh that is the look of i fuck i knew i shouldn't have come here knew i was gonna end up in a picture online <laughs> Imagine getting actually confused when you go to the bathroom here. You're like, I've been sitting in here for hours. Nobody's, where's my server? Just yelling for the manager with your fucking pants around your ankles. Inspiration for the restaurant came from a robot character in a Japanese cartoon who loved to play with poop and swirl it on a stick. Right. Is this uh, like a direct translation type thing? Is this like a lost in translation issue? Or is there just a robot that plays with poop on a stick? And these are just, these are the facts of the cartoon. Number eight, Vampire Cafe, nestled in- That's not a vampire though. That's the Joker. <laughs> so. In a totally unassuming looking building in Tokyo, Japan, there's a vampire themed restaurant. Signs greet customers, welcoming them to their death. And once they step inside, they're fully immersed into a horror dining experience. The restaurant has gone hard with the theme. Sort of. Dude, there was a. Okay, the first thing you showed us was not a vampire, it was the Joker. Okay. Now you're showing us a ghost and you're showing us pumpkins, Halloween themes. You're showing us skeletons. I haven't seen a fucking vampire yet. So for that to be the theme a little bit crazy that I haven't seen one yet. Fins, candles, plenty of red velvet and the odd smear of fake blood. Or at least I hope it's fake. Oh. Ah. Number seven. In London, England, there's a bar styled like a Blitz Air Raid shelter and abandoned underground train station. To visit Cahoots is to step back into the 1940s, a time where rations were low, but spirits were high. Why, who wants to relive this particular section of human history? Remember when there was a real threat of Nazism taking over the entire fucking earth? Let's drink to that. Throwback Thursday. <laughs> Pantry style and feature old English classics like meat pies, fruitcake, sausage rolls, and finger sandwiches. Cahoots actually sound just some of the worst food you've ever had all in one place. Cool. Number six, jailhouse. Who watching this video would pay to be locked up and served prison food? A jail-themed restaurant in Bangalore, India, wants to entertain its guests by serving them food in a cell. Diners are welcomed by prison guards and shown to their cells. Thick black bars stretch from floor to isolating <laughs> diners from other... No, wait, I'm sorry. Was there a hard cut on the server walking in with a fucking gun? Cells. So, thick black bars stretch from floor to isolating diners... What is that? Number five, all natural. Okay, so I think maybe this one has gone too far. 
in 2017, in Paris, France, a nudist restaurant opened up called All Naturel. The intimate restaurant seated 40 diners and claimed to be the French capital's first nudist restaurant. This one went too far. This one has gone too far. Dude, there were, you literally talked about a poop restaurant. I'm just saying, I don't think seeing a fucking nipple here or a fucking schlong there is as bad as being served wet brown foods in a toilet bowl. If you had to pick. <laughs> Look, I'm not happy that I'm at either of these fucking places. I don't need my server's schlong sweeping. <laughs> I don't need the tip just sort of grazing the table, just knocking cups and fucking napkins and shit everywhere. For around $57.50 a head, diners could enjoy a three-course meal in the nude eatery, where the only fat... Okay, wait. You're naked? The guests are naked? Are the chairs sterilized after each sitting? I would hope so. The UTIs... <laughs> that people get from this place, I'm sure. The aim of the restaurant was to encourage people to feel more at one with nature. Ah, good. They serve sushi to answer that old question burning in the back of your noggin while you sit there nude. What's that fish smell? Oh good, it's just the sushi they served. Or is it? Number four, Wine Lagoon. A middle-aged white woman's absolute dream. Okay, so not so much a restaurant than a spa, but still an Epicurean experience that would delight any gourmand. The Unison Spa Resort in Japan invites customers to bathe in a giant pool filled with red wine poured from a 12-foot bottle. Don't tell me people are actually fucking drinking the wine in the pool. I do not need to be sipping on wine that possibly made its way through all your cracks and crevices. Bathing in wine is excellent for stimulating skin cells. <laughs> Just, it's just, it's so unnecessary, right? To bathe in wine, isn't it? It isn't advised that bathers drink the wine in the pool because, well, warm wine with notes of stewed, sweaty human probably isn't great. It isn't advised. That doesn't mean you can't do it, people haven't done it, and that you'll get kicked out if you do. Trust me, people are drinking it. But revelers can drink a glass of fresh wine as they enjoy the pool. What pairs well with wine? Ramen, apparently. <laughs> what? People just are really jumping into uh, bowls of soup. If I saw this laid out, I'd go, nah, ah, ah, not this time, Looney Tunes-esque trap. I will not jump into my own boiling soupy broth. <laughs> There's also a giant ramen pool filled with noodles. Or if that doesn't interest you, perhaps... I, who wants that? Who has ever been in a pool and been like, you know what would be nice if noodles would intertwine and tangle up in, in between my toes? That would be a f cool, I would like that right now. <laughs> Number three, Casa Bonita. There's Mexican restaurants, and then there is Casa Bonita. Casa Bonita is beyond next level. It's utterly insane. There's a fucking, what is that, a shapeshifter? Are they aware they caught that in the image? A skinwalker spotted climbing the rocks. Same. Located in the United States in Denver, Colorado, the wild and imaginative establishment has been open since 1974. Considered a super restaurant, the place sprawls over 52,000. What is this? What is this guy doing? And how the fuck are we going to cut away before we find out? Extremely rude fucking edit. Considered a super restaurant, the place sprawls over 52,000 square feet and can seat over 1,000 people. The restaurant has... There's no way you're getting great service with a thousand guests. There are hidden caves, mariachi bands, magic shows, gunfights, sword fights, arcade games, a mischievous gorilla, and a 30-foot waterfall that houses pirate shows and divers. A I want to go. I want to go. This looks like it would be something to experience. I just want to get to this phase of my life where I'm a regular at a place like this. You know, I'm just I'm rocking Hawaiian t-shirts, listening to Yacht Rock, and just meeting the whole f the family down at this fucking whatever, the Casa Bonita. 
It's fucking just absolute fever dream of a restaurant. Number two, robot restaurant. Whoa, this restaurant looks like it would either be the most fun you ever had in your life or it'd give you a seizure. Dude, this looks terrible. <laughs> it looks like it's designed to make sure that you never sleep again. Stimulus overload. They're probably just like pumping fucking oxygen into this place to keep people awake. Obviously, this crazy establishment is in Japan because where else could bring you something this wacky? Located in Shinjuku City, the robot restaurant serves up sushi alongside the most utterly insane piece of dinner theater in the world. Again, robot restaurant, I'm seeing pirates. I'm seeing uh, the, whatever this is. I'm seeing that, right? But I'm not seeing a ton of fucking robots. Diners enter into a neon light fantasy land via two giant robot statues and are seated. The restaurant's decor and atmosphere is wild enough, but has nothing on what's coming up. Dancing robots, crocodiles, rock stars, feathered dancers, puppets, and more take to mobile stages in a raucous room filled with lasers. The whole experience looks like a sensory overload. That's what I said. Because it is. It's too shiny, it's too flashy, there's too many fucking lights, dude. Have you ever wanted all of the worst aspects of an obnoxious nightclub and a casino while you struggle to order a meal over the uh, presumably rave music well then boy do we have the restaurant for you <laughs> the epileptic's worst fucking nightmare robot restaurant number one hospitalist food and surgical procedures do not go hand in oh, hand man. in my opinion i'm already upset by this i hate medical show stuff. I hate surgery shows, whether it's about shit that's botched or medical advancements even. I hate it when documentaries have a hard cut to a surgical operation. And I also hate shit like the fucking pimple popper. Dr. Pimple Popper. Are you fucked, dude? So this one to me is just purely upsetting already. But tell that to Latvia. Hospitalis is a quirky hospital-themed restaurant in Eastern Europe. And let me tell you this, they go hard with the theme. Customers are treated like patients, and all wait staff are dressed up like nurses and surgeons. Oh, this isn't even like regular patients. This is insane asylum, like psych ward shit. Good God, how do you... This stinks, dude, not being able to have your fucking hands free. You gotta be fed by your server. I doubt you're getting paid enough to spoon feed somebody who has a weird desire to be treated as an insane person. Drinks are served in IV drip bags or in medical test beakers. Diners eat on operating tables and use surgical equipment as utensils. This had to be set up by like police agencies in order to find serial killers because there's no way that murderers aren't the the prime customer of a place like this i'm just saying if you're looking for dexter probably a good place to start a search the decor is stark and clinical just like a hospital but also has pops of red and medical symbols and blood splatters diners can also opt to be placed in a straight jacket and forced fed by doctors well, there you go, dude. If you're ever in a situation where somebody tells you to stop playing with your food, you can legitimately look at them angrily, shovel your own feces into your mouth, and through the shit on your breath, you can look at them and you can say, you have no idea what I will become. And then you can go on to open up the most foul restaurant in the world. That's beautiful, dude. Follow your, follow your dreams. <laughs> Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. While you're down there leaving a comment, go ahead and hit like, hit subscribe, ring the notification bell to be notified next time I upload. And until next time and until next video, peace.